Hey everyone, Kiki Cannon here again with another video and welcome back. In today's video, I have another resin printing video for you guys and it's working on the Zelda costume again and how I created these cauldrons. I have a couple other videos going over different aspects of other pieces of this costume, so hopefully this is something that's interesting to you guys and maybe can help you with your own projects or just printing in general. And as always, if you have any video suggestions, just please leave them down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off in Blender, I like to bring in different references um, to kind of trace over, mostly using curves, but also other shapes. And then I just keep refining it until I get what I want and then mirror it. And then I 3D model the pauldron part separately and added the design on top of it. And if anyone was interested in printing a build plate hanger, I got this one from Phoenix Blue Studio from Thingiverse. I have a link below. I've been using mine. Um, this one, obviously, it chipped on the edge, but it still works fine. It's great for hanging up to let your prints just dry a little bit longer. And I have these printed for my Saturn as well as my Mars, and I love them. Uh, my piece came out really well on the first try. Didn't really have any issues with this piece. I also have my Wham Bam plate to pull off my build plate so my build plate doesn't get damaged. And I'm going to be removing most of the supports, um, basically all of the supports for this piece. I don't really need them because it's already pretty structured and I'm not really worried about anything getting deformed before I cure it. So I don't really need any of them on there anymore. And as you can see, I have most of them luckily on the bottom. So I try to avoid the supports to be attached to any of the quote unquote pretty parts or the more seen parts of my piece. Um, most of the cleanup is probably going to be around the edge of the turtle shell shape. And I'm just going to be spraying some alcohol and just wiping and trying to get rid of any residue as well as any more just lingering support pieces with my snips just to try to get it nice and cleaned up as much as possible. So I just have these sealed clear containers that I use for my alcohol baths to wash bigger pieces in. And I just have this nice little soft brush that won't really indent or push on the resin at all, but enough to kind of get it all nice and clean. Um, after I give it a nice wash, I'm just going to let it dry and then I'm going to cure it under my light for about three minutes. Sorry I'm missing the footage of how I cured my print. As some of you may know, I did lose a lot of my video footage um, due to last year from my hard drive crashing and I am still trying to recover some of it, but a lot of it is corrupt, which is one of the reasons why I had to um, take a break. So I'm going to be doing a little bit extra sanding than I normally would. While my piece came out for the most part really clean and really smooth, um, there is a little bit of cleanup, I would say, on the edge where you do see the supports as well as just the inside. But I'm going to be doing a little bit extra sanding just to be more picky than usual because this is a competition piece. While I would say there's not really any lines um, that you can really see, I'm just trying to eliminate any possibility of there appearing any lines for it to look like a print at all. And as you can tell, I'm spending a lot more um, extra time getting in between every single little crack and detail because um, I'm working hard to make my work look super clean and smooth. It is some extra steps, but I think it will be worth it in the end. I also have uh, quite a few videos on other parts of this costume that I finished. If you wanted to check that out or just check out the progress of this costume, 
I might try to composite everything together to make one solid video of just creating Zelda. But for now, I'm just putting it in bite sizes and just showing you guys how I make stuff. And hopefully this helps you with something that you're working on or gives you an idea um, just to share kind of my shop projects. After I got it pretty smooth, I did a couple layers of primer here. And if I see any more imperfections, this is a sandable primer, so I can go in and continue to sand it if I feel like it's not clean enough until I get the cleanest possible look, and then I will put my top coat on. So I added on the top coat, and I'm overall super happy with everything and how it came out. Also, these 3D modeled parts on the bottom um, or so that I can attach it to the bodice when I'm done making that. I didn't worry too much about some of the pinholes on the bottom part that won't be seen. It was just going to be a lot of work to clean up for not really any particular reason. And also cat helpers are trying to get my string. <laughs> happen to stick around for the whole video it definitely helps my watch hours to hopefully get me partnered and hopefully you just enjoyed the video um i have a video coming out on this sunday which is my first print that i did on my jupiter for my viera costume so if you're interested in that please feel free to come back and hopefully i'll see you guys bye